Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Bear Seria. Last time we cleared out our hideout, we... This is the, uh, like, least build-up of benevolence area on the planet, because there are freaking, like, four or five Therians sitting here. Because there's me. <laughs> I'm a Therian! And then we've also got the griffin that's hanging around here. We've also got the bug that Lofi set caught. And, um... Moana, or whatever her damn name is. Um, I think that's actually it. I think that, I think there's four Therians here. But still, that's a lot. Like, we keep taking them out of areas and causing an overflow, and then we're just like, yep, they all sit here. <laughs> I'll never think of looking in their own closet for us. <laughs> it's always darkest under the lighthouse, am I right? Moana. I always call her Moana, because I'm like, I know that name. Helen Orpheus looks like she was feeling down. Let's go find her and cheer her up, Velvet. Don't you do it. You know. So we took over the island. We get to name it whatever we want. Have this dial island sound to you. Yeah, I think maybe you should keep your thoughts to yourself. <laughs> Excuse me for existing. Now it's a prison island. Could, could it be any more or less hospitable? Sorry, I'm not, how about you, Griffin? The, Griffin's name is Griffin? That's lazy as crap. <laughs> Whatever I drink leaks out. It's like I need to plug some gaps. Hey, Rokuro, have you seen Eleanor? Uh, probably. I don't know. <laughs> the drunk. Just try not to go overboard. But, man, are we a bunch of screw-ups or what? I mean, we've kidnapped a prince now. They gotta have laws against that. <laughs> Broke out of prison, flattened Helavis, tried to assassinate a shepherd. Hey, how many infractions do you think we're on the hook for? Pardon me if I don't stop and count. If you don't like it, nobody's forcing you to didn't like it. Along. No. Still haven't repaid my debt to you. You say that, but you really just want to beat Shigure, don't you? Whoa, well, to me, they're both connected. It's a long story, but I can tell you if you... I'll pass. Well, join me for a drink then? Can't. I'm 19. Not to mention, alcohol won't affect her, so it'd just be a waste of, well, alcohol. We have a base. I don't think we have to worry about maintaining the... What do you mean we don't have to worry about maintaining the Van El show? We still have to be able to leave. What are you talking about? Ah, a sailor better room to sleep than rock and I's a real treat. Huh. A most interesting interpretation. What do you make of this part here, then? Hmm. Well, if you pronounce it Loney, Kyle, then it'd mean midriff, which probably isn't right. Maybe... Muse Mila? Well, that would make Oh, Muse Mila, I caught that reference. Oranges are nummy. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's not right either. <laughs> What's wrong, Velvet? Have you seen Eleanor? No, I haven't. Sorry, I know I'm supposed to watch her. Just read somewhere where there's more light. You'll hurt your eyes like this. Uh, okay. That's true. I I didn't know that um they could, like, suffer eye damage. Like, it, it just seems like they're ethereal beings that are sort of, like, above the wear and tear of humanity. Hey, you got any idea where Eleanor is? No, sorry. I was having a meeting with Benwick and the crew about our search for Eifried. Are you sure you're okay with putting that off? At this point, the Abbey doesn't have much reason to keep him alive. Wouldn't you rather look for him than Therians? I know time is a factor, but we still don't have any decent leads. I think we need to stir up the Abbey and see what shakes loose. And who better to do that than you? So this works for both of us, then? Never fear. I'm still acting out of self-interest. <laughs> Besides, Eifried won't die so easily. He's a strong man. It'd take a lot to bring him down. Yeah. I've never seen him flinch from a storm, no matter how choppy the seas. Where angels fear to tread, as they say. Probably some of that as well. 
I like him. He's a nice man. But I do really like that it's like, well, like, yeah, I want to go after Ifri, but I have no idea how. So the best thing to do is to make the Abbey uncomfortable and try and make them use him as a, you know, another trap. Um, and you're doing a damn good job of that, so... This is probably Eleanor. Oh, it's Magilu. Hey, any idea where Eleanor went? How should I know? I'm too busy to spare any time worrying about anyone else. You look pretty distinctly unoccupied to me right now. Right, I'm busy being unoccupied. You're... what? <laughs> it's simple. When you have free time, it means you're busy trying to avoid having any business to do. You're too weird for this world, Mogulu. Says the woman with the world's blandest personality. Well, I always figured you'd be the type to take off as soon as things got hairy. So what keeps you here? Yeah. I am utterly, completely, totally, wholly devoid of anything else to do. Which is to say I'm... Unoccupied. Right, now you get it. Besides, I have to stick around to see how our bet turns out, don't I? I do also have to say, um... That I, I was just noticing this. Uh, this game has a uh, big thing to do with like really long hair because Moggy Lou has hair down to her ankles. Um, so does Velvet at this point. Although hers isn't necessarily well, she had a really long ponytail before. Eisen doesn't. Obviously, Lafayette said doesn't. Rokuro, how long is your hair? Uh, decently long, down to small. I think of it. I think it was straight. It would go back down to small of his back. So, and I have to find out how far down um, Eleanor's goes. <laughs> We're adventuring. Everyone's been having these really deep conversations. So I'm like, I'm looking at hair. There's definitely purple people eaters here. Okay, that answers that. I was actually thinking, like, would there just be enemies out here? Hella hideout. Or pirates, a positive it's a proper term. No, it's a secret fort. That sounds way more inspiring. So here he is. Looks and nobles working together. It's be too scary for me. Seriously. All the freaking life bottles I used. Jesus. Hey, Expedition came back. Or silence. A mistress's support. Well, I found everything except for that one. Well, let's move on then. I'm like, I I I have learned a long time ago when you're down to just one. Just save yourself time and don't, don't, don't force it. Don't force Force Island. No, I never went that other way. I do think Eleanor's probably in the other direction. I don't significantly think I'm going to lose out on anything major by going this way. like an Eleanor. You do look... Do you want something? An Eleanor. No. Honest. Yeah, that... That does not sound super convincing to me. Although, maybe you're telling the truth, because I was thinking I'd come up here and Eleanor would be up here. But it appears that is not, in fact, the case. What are you doing in here, though? I feel like that's a story that needs to be told, but I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I want to check out front really quick. I, I, she's probably at the very, very deep depths, but it feels odd they make me run all the way through here again. So let me just check out front rather quickly. I like the music. It, it, it's very different than the dungeon music, but it's it's good. That's 
Because this is the hideout, I never have to listen to the awful music at the beginning of the dungeon. That's exciting. Okay, does not appear to be out here. Oh. I see you, Mr. Soul. Oh, yeah, I haven't been around the docks. Okay, well, that answers that. It's funny I had a quick save last time when I could have just... I could have actually just walked out and saved, but... For some reason, I was like, nope, it won't let me leave. It's gonna make me talk to everyone first. We were already over time, guys. Yes, we were. Alright, so let's, let's delve deeper into the... I bet she's actually in Velvet Cell, because Velvet was not super subtle about the fact that she'd been locked in there and left in a not great place. Oh, Benwick. Hey, I've had of our dreams now. Thanks to you, we're, we're in your debt, Velvet. You really, you don't feel like a proper pirate unless you got a nice sinister lair. Never came this way before. Her earnest exorcist? So we're walking towards the watchtower. Oh, well, that's not where I thought she'd go. Titania! Titania! Our home and secret land. Once a prison island, now a din so fair. I made an a anthem for the island. It's gonna be hit with everyone. This is probably not the watchtower. This room always confuses me because it's basically the other room except not. The back part of the island, where there is no ship. Right. Oh, hey, there's an herb back here. Cool, cool, cool. Probably worth my time to come get. At this point, I'm just sort of like touring the facilities. I wonder if I'll get to do like some base building or anything. Like, this seems like an awful lot of room that's not being used for anything. So I wonder if I'll get to fill it with things. It'd be cool if all the treasures I keep getting on the expeditions ended up, like, actually in here. Like, it, 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 I feel a little bit stupid being like, I feel like they could do more with this place when I don't even know what they're doing with it. Like, I can't, how do I, how can I criticize them for not doing more when I haven't even seen what they're doing, but... Oh, I've got so many, so many ideas. All right. The Watchtower. Doink. Oh, that, that may be half the reason to make me come this way is to find all this stuff. Oh, I need to sell some balmy fluid then. Oh, show. Okay, so her hair is... I also think small of her back. Like, obviously she's got it up, but if she didn't... Oh, I was like, what? Eleanor, come on is worried about you. You actually came looking for me? Can't say no to a crying child. Ah, uh, indeed. She may be Ethereum now, but deep down, she's still a lonely little girl. That's something I've come to realize in traveling with you all. Wretched demons and Therians, even the Malachim who I'd only thought of as tools, they all live and think as humanly as the rest of us. 
I was so clueless. I didn't know what demon blight really was, nor what the Abbey was doing. If you're trying to grow up. I knew it all. I... I knew nothing beyond blind belief in whatever I was taught. Ignorance is bliss, as they say. The coward's path is not that of an exorcist. They may say, I didn't know anything, so I can't be blamed. I can't... I can't live like that. Was she considering, like, killing herself? I think I'll stay here a little longer okay, good. my head off. Please tell Kamalana I'm alright. Like, That'll be a problem with her being Lafayette's vessel. Don't stay out too long. The sea breeze can get cold. <sighs> Thank you. Don't get the wrong idea. If you got sick or something, Kamalana and Lafayette would worry. You can That's be nice to people, Velvet! I have something to say. He's got something to say. There's something I've been hiding until now. I've been acting undercover on a special mission for Lord Artorius. I was to watch over the Malik Lafayette and bring him to Abbey headquarters. So vital was the mission. I was to do whatever it took, even kill my fellow exorcists. You were gonna take me to them. I'm sorry for deceiving you, Lafayette. Originally, I was going to get you to lower your guard, then take you in. However, I no longer intend on following the Abbey's orders. Well, obviously, or you wouldn't admit to that. You're turning your back on Artorius? No. I still believe in the sincerity of Lord Artorius. That the world he seeks is one that will benefit all humankind. But nevertheless, I simply cannot bring myself to condone the methods he has chosen to achieve that vision, so... I will help you protect the Therians, until I discover the answer I seek. Interesting. Eleanor! I want to live a life that I don't have to be ashamed of, and to do that, I have to learn the truth for myself. <laughs> so, you live by your emotions after all. <laughs> Maybe you found your own creed. Welcome to our wonderful world of wickedness. Don't equate us. To act in opposition of one's feelings is to act opposed to reason. Wait, no, that's... You make things simple, do you? You should be glad I don't. Yeah, after all, she's my vessel. Yes, yes. So, I think our next order of business is to find ourselves another Therian. Well, that's the extent of my insight. Anyone <laughs> got any actual leads? What if we had Eleanor swipe some intel on them from the Abbey? That could work. I don't know. It wouldn't work. Officially, the Abbey still considers her a traitor, so who would leak anything to her? Yeah. Besides, we can't put Lafayette in danger like that. And Convenient anyway, way of not doing anything. Eleanor's terrible at being a spy. Ungracious, but accurate. <laughs> you know that special underground cell from yesterday? I want to go back there. There's something I want to try. Yeah, can you actually, like, sense where the other Earth pulses are? Oh, it's actually going to make me run there. Like, we've already established that there are no, um, enemies here. Laffy said, I must offer you an apology. What for? For spying. I was plotting to take you back to the Abbey. I am truly sorry. It was your mission, wasn't it? Somehow I think I always knew. You... you did? Call it a hunch. Besides, Velvet was really suspicious of you. 
Whenever you feel you're doing something wrong, you start to sweat a lot. It seemed odd. How long have you known? Ever since you became a vessel for me. I think Velvet knew too. <sighs> That's quite a shock. <laughs> I failed completely in my role as a spy. It's pathetic. Shameful, really. Well, I think it says something good about you. Huh? Someone who can't lie well seems like a better person than someone who has an easy time of it. Thank you, Luffy said. I think you're the better person here. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> hmm? What are you doing here, Bianfu? I was hoping you'd let me join in! We're in the middle of something important. Please leave us be for yeah, now. Yeah, you're not the better person, Bian. Please be quiet. Just let me hang around, all right? Afraid not. Bian! Madam Eleanor is a mealy head! She's a what? Laffy said. Thank you. I hope we can stay friends. I hope so too, Eleanor. Aww. B Why is Bianfu in this game? Like, seriously. I get that they want to have, like, a comic relief character, but ah, uh, he does nothing. Hey, Bianfu, I have a question for you. I know Magilu likes to call herself a witch and all that, but what is she really? The obvious guess would be that she's an exorcist, but I don't think I ever saw her name in the roster. That's not surprising. She is indeed a bona fide dark witch. I should know. I saw one night just how scary she could be. It's enough to keep you awake at night. It was near the crater of a volcano. Above the bubbling magma sat a huge cauldron. Inside the cauldron, a blood-red liquid stickily simmered, boiling in the hellfire heat. When droplets splattered onto Miss Magilu's cheeks, she just cackled and licked it off. And she kept the cauldron boiling for three days and three nights. What was she making? Strawberry jam. What? <laughs> What's scary about that? I was just getting to the scary part. Instead of using sugar, she put in soy sauce, cooking wine, and liquor. Soy sauce and strawberries? Is that normal? You wouldn't think so, but that contrasted sweetness, sourness, and saltiness actually makes it taste great. <laughs> Not that someone like you would understand the appeal. You have to have a refined palate like mine to appreciate it. Wait, I've heard of that. You can boil things in soy sauce and wine to preserve them. When you do it with strawberries, it's called strawberry soup. That's right! Actually... Strawberry soup has sea urchin and abalone, not strawberries. It's just called that because the sea urchin plumps up like berries. And it's not preserved either. Really? <laughs> well, I had no idea! Wow, I really liked it too! I wonder if the reason she's never made it for me again is because she realized the mix-up! Now that I think about it, that's not the only thing I like that she made one time! Like durian jellies and the candied sweet fish too! I think I see what's going on here. <laughs> what does the food she's made more than once taste like? It's just normal stuff, like what you guys always have. Only a truly scary witch could hide that much cooking talent behind such plain tasting food with no one the wiser. Oh my gosh, Bianfu, you're an idiot. Like, I, he is funny, it's just he seems to have no narrative purpose. <laughs> I know this smell. Yeah. It's Prince Percival's fragrant wood perfume. When what? I told him I'd never smelled it before, he put a little on my sleeve to try it out. I love the smell of the royal family's perfume. It's distinct, but not overpowering. It's made from Fandaria trees, conifers that grow in a snowy land. I've noticed that you and Velvet and Mogilu smell nice too. Do you all wear the same perfume? We do? We don't use that stuff, but maybe you're smelling the soap we use. Oh. Can only the royal family wear fragrant wood? No. Some fragrances, including the Fandaria scented ones, only the royal family can use. Interesting. But most don't have any such restriction. If they all smell so good on humans, why doesn't everyone use them? You know, I've never thought about that. Why do you think that is, Aizen? It's a bit complicated. To explain it right, I'd have to start with the history of bathing in Midgand. Interesting. 
A few hundred years ago, people believed they would die if they took a bath. They were so terrified of baths that they wouldn't even Wait, go near where did that one. come from? I can't believe people would be scared of taking a bath. Why would that even happen? Well, at the time, a deadly plague was running rampant, and people thought that it could be transmitted through bath water. Bear in mind that this was all before we had proper plumbing or techniques to purify water. People couldn't just bathe anywhere. Sewers like the one we used to sneak through Logris are a fairly recent construction, only around a century old. Some people even thought bathing at all was unhygienic. Right. As bathing went out of style, the royal family started to use these fragrant woods. Covering up their bad smell with a good one. Yep. As a result, their perfumes used to be far more potent, to the point where you couldn't even tell if it smelled good anymore. But nowadays, nobody actually believes that bathing can make you sick, right? Only men. As civilization advanced, plumbing became widespread, and baths themselves became much cleaner fixtures than they used to be. And the fragrant woods fell out of favor because they were no longer necessary, right? To the contrary. As the people gained prosperity, the perfumes became a popular display of wealth. The newfound popularity didn't last long, however, thanks to the propagation of a new disease. One that didn't transmit through baths. It transmitted through perfume? Demon blight, you mean? With the rise of demon attacks, life outside the city walls became increasingly difficult. With Man, this place is just getting plague after plague. By, the perfumes once again became the domain of royalty. I guess that means that fragrant woods share a long and complicated history with plagues. To cover up the truth of malevolence, the powers that be spread rumors of a demon plague, continuing their time-honored tradition of covering up one stink with another. So, what do you think of the perfume? Do you like it? Yeah, it smells nice. But I think I like the smell of soap better. Huh? Interesting. Oh my gosh, there's so many of these scenes. That, I actually really, really liked that scene. Like, it's... Anything that gives more of a world building and kind of fleshes out the land and its history, I, I'm, I'm totally here for it. This island is so amazing! It's far away from any other people and has so much hidden stuff underground! It's such a perfect hideout! Just thinking about it makes me so excited to be here! Yeah, I guess. What's wrong? You were so excited to be here before! Don't be such a drag, Loppy Set! <laughs> it's just that this used to be a prison. People were brought here to suffer. If you're worried about how I feel, don't be. If I really hated this place, I wouldn't have made it my base. Hell, I was imprisoned here too, but now it's the secret fort I always dreamed of. I still haven't forgiven the guard who ate all those Maron glaces I was sent. I'll let the past be the past. What part of secret fort are you not getting? <laughs> yeah. But it can't all be just for fun and games here, either. In order to maximize the success of our future battles, we need to maintain and improve this base going forward. This place seems sturdy as it is. Does it really need more work put into it? Nonsense. This place was built to specialize in holding prisoners. We can make it better suit our needs. What are you proposing, exactly? Well, I think we need to start with smokescreen generators. They'll be effective against intruders unfamiliar with the layout here. Of course, afterwards we'll have to clean up all the soot, but still. No thanks. <laughs> I think we need something to put out fires. The fire at Helavis was really Well, this scary. whole place is made of stone. We have Malachim like you who could use water arts, though. If anything happens, you can just put it out. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. And again, the whole place is made of stone. Are some secret underground tunnels. If things get too hairy here, We'll need an underground escape route. We can put in hidden doors, and even some fake ones to trick the enemy, too. We have two separate docks. That's good enough. No enemy is going to attack <laughs> without taking both docks into consideration. That's why we need to build underground tunnels before anything else. But we're on an island. You know, surrounded by water. Where would these tunnels even lead to? Isn't it obvious? We'll dig underneath the sea to another uninhabited island nearby. Are there other islands there nearby? No other islands nearby. If it means getting my tunnels, I'll build an island too. Cut the eyes in. Are you listening to what you're saying? It sounds like he's daydreaming to me. And what's wrong with having some dreams? This is a great opportunity we have here. Why are you so obsessed with tunnels? <laughs> it's okay. 
I get where you're coming from. I don't. But they'll never understand. You might as well save your breath. Tunnels. Alright, and that is that, but you know what? We are also at 30 minutes because they talked for so like that that scene was bizarre. I don't understand. I'm confused. I am saving. Next time, we will go see what Luffy said once, and then we will actually go back and start working on um, Luffy Set's quest to, like, make that one thing. Because the the church is surely cleared out of that area by now. Oh, hello. I lost a bed to a young man, and he dared me to prove my courage by sailing out to a Class 4 island. Now, I can handle myself, but man, it ain't fun and games there. I nearly got killed. By demons. Well, yeah, you that's what's there. You stepped foot on a Class Four island? Not even. I was still approaching it by ship when this stuff that looked like spider silk started spreading round. These bug-looking demons were using the stuff to try and climb aboard my ship. Damnation! The crew cut those threads as fast as anything, and we got the hell out of there. The whole thing left me bawling. Well, I'm glad to see you made it out safely. I'd suggest not going near there again. <laughs> oh no, I wasn't planning on it. I had enough of that place to last me a lifetime. Awesome. Glad to hear it. All right, see you next time, guys. I'm going to actually save again because I don't want to forget to do that and then lose access to that place because that would be sad. Bye-bye. Well,